All right, so I looked online. I was going to replace these um, bolts that I was missing, the two that were rusted out um, with factory hardware. But after looking online, um, I found that uh, factory replacement hardware was about $10 a bolt, which is stupid for a bolt. Um, there is a aftermarket bolt. Um, and the prices are all over the place. Uh, Summit Racing had them for like just under two bucks a piece, but by the time you sh got them shipped, they were like twenty-five dollars because two and then shipping. Um, looked on eBay, some people were selling the bolts for eighteen dollars a piece. Some were selling sets for between uh, eighteen and thirty dollars, depending on if they were used or not. Um, I just went down to the local hardware store, picked up some. They're not Torx, but they're just Allens, which is fine because this isn't really structural. Um, so I picked up four. So I'm going to do the bottom bottom two on each side. And they're hex Allen key instead of Torx, but that's all we need. So I'm going to swap those in real quick and get that done. And then uh, we'll work on the windshield. All right, so what I ended up getting was these guys. Um, so I'm gonna paint it black. So I couldn't find any with this size head. These are a little smaller. Uh, like I said, these are Allen instead of Torx. Uh, they're quarter by 20, five eighths long, and a one inch fender washer. Um, and it works pretty good. It, it lines up fairly close to the edge, so no big deal. Once I paint it black, It'll be perfect, but uh, four bolts with the washers was just over four dollars and like nine cents with tax, so way cheaper than nine dollars for one. And uh, I think it'll be just fine. And since the washer would probably be behind this anyway, if I was to change this one out, but there's no reason to, so I'm just going to change out the these, so they'll be the bottom four will be the same. All right, so I started peeling the inside gasket out. Um, I ordered a new inner and a new outer. Um, my inner will be here in a couple of days. I will still need to get some window adhesive to glue the new window in place. Uh, but the old one, it came out sort of okay, but yeah, it's garbage. It's got a bunch of tears in it. Um, so, now to try to get the outer one off, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get that out of there. Might have to cut it. It doesn't seem to want to peel out like the inside one did. Alright, let me see what I can do to get a hold of it. Alright, so I sprayed the washers, they look pretty good. Since I had the paint out, I went ahead and sprayed the door down. Um, came out much better than I thought it was going to. The faded bluish gray, whatever the hell color that's supposed to be. Um, I didn't do this top part here, I still gotta come back once I take the upper off. Um, I still gotta strip this down, get that out of the way. I need to get this bolt out of here, or nut, whatever. It, somebody broke it off. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for door pulls. Um, we'll figure that out, but it looks better than it did. Uh, so I'll get those bolt done. I'll get the dash done. I'll do the window before I put the dash back in. That way I can get in here and force it. Um, I started to pull this seal out and you can see where I clipped the edge of the glass. So I'm trying not to shatter the glass or make a bunch of parts. There's a bunch of pieces of it right there. Um, so I've got to dig that seal out so I can get to the to the back side, and then I can get the tool in there and start getting this out. Uh, so that's going to be a minute. Because once I get the window out, then I can go ahead and put the uh, dash pad back in and start reassembling the dash. Um, as you can tell, it looks like it's going to cloud up again here, so it's going to be raining, so I'm going to not get much done. Um, kind of find uh, got some water in my toolbox. 
find uh I don't know why I gotta find <laughs> it's, I'm just looking here trying to figure out what the hell I got going next um so yeah so yeah we're supposed to get some more thunderstorms today so um I think we will just call it for right now and maybe work on the intake manifold for a bit at least I can do that out of the weather all right so next thing I need to start doing is working this windshield out um it's nice to have one of these tools um you can do it with a putty knife if you got a really sharp one you can actually do the same thing um a, a wire if you can get some a spot started you can get a wire in there um you can pick up some piano wire it's fairly inexpensive uh, you can do that uh, just got to be careful because piano wire does have a tendency to cut through the seal real good and then shatter the glass so um, I'm just going to try to dodge those dark clouds for a few minutes while I have a break in between the storm um, we'll see how much I can get done and uh, go from there um, <clears throat> and I would suggest taking multiple passes not not soup don't push it all the way down to the bottom so that the tip of the blade is dragging against the frame take multiple passes until you hit the frame um, it shouldn't take that much I mean I've already got it and I'm working on the inside not the outside the glue is all between the frame and the inside anyway so I should be able to get um, you can see where it's already starting to move. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move myself to the other side um, so I can pull it that way and then start on the, the, the sides. Something else is kind of, kind of a good safety feature. Or, uh, so all I do is when I cut through here, I just push on it a little bit until I can see that the glass is actually moving away from the frame. I'm not actually trying to push it hard because um, I'm using my bare hands um, so before you do try to push it out get yourself a good pair of gloves because if it does break you don't want to cut yourself all right so so far I've gotten from a couple inches before the turn all the way down both sides and up the only part I haven't done is basically the middle of the top um, I'm gonna put my gloves on and see if it uh, moves at all all right you can see this crack and this crack that's it's starting to move but the glass is still sort of stuck so we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the top done I'm gonna lay the windshield down and uh, do it flat all right so I just have the space right here by the rear view mirror I need to get um, I need to find a Phillips head screwdriver so I can remove the rear view mirror and then I should be able to I think go ahead and push that out all right mirrors out of there I've got it all cut along the edge um, we will see if I can just go ahead and push it out or if I'll have to do some cutting on the other side it seems like it's moving so I don't know if I'll need to cut the other side or not sometimes you do sometimes you don't just depends on how much glue is in there all right it might be hard to tell maybe you can see it but you can see that there's enough space now I can get my hand under here and I'm just slowly working my way down this side now I gotta go the other side so I can push that around grab my stool grab my glove So we're almost uh, almost. I think the only spot I'm still stuck is somewhere right here. And that's probably where the windshield wipers are. So if I stand this up, I should be able to go ahead and get that out of there. 
maybe. Um, I need both hands. All right, let me use both hands. Yep, once I stood it back up and I used both hands, it literally just peeled over. Um, it was a little stuck right here. You can see where the um, seal stayed on the frame and it's completely off the glass. Um, you can see where it ends right there. And then it's still stuck over there. But that's out um, literally 15 minutes. So, and while I was up here, I was looking down in my vent and I can see there's water in there, a lot of water. So I'm gonna have to cut the tube that's inside the engine compartment. I saw, um, saw a video where people were talking about, cause it's got, kind of got a pinch at the end of it. That way water drips out. Um, but if you cut it so that it's just round, then nothing will hold and then any leaves and stuff will help come out. So looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Hopefully that uh, doesn't flood the inside of the air box. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this window. And uh, I think this is gonna be it for this video. I'm waiting for um, my adhesive to come in. I've got the seals, I've got the window, I'm just waiting for the adhesive so that will give me some time here in the next couple days if the weather cooperates to get the rest of this glue out of here so I can put the new window in. Thanks for watching.